Hi, kindergarten through second grade. I hope that you did this last week. Um, <clears throat> if you didn't, that's okay too. But there was an art term that I wanted to remind you of today. You see this egg right in front, you see the whole egg. But if you get closer, whoops, if you get closer, you're not going to see all, everybody has a whole egg. But there's a whole egg here, there's a whole egg here, whole egg here, because they're in front. And so the rest of them are behind. Do you remember what the art term is for that? I say it quite often in classes overlapping. So today you're going to need something to draw with, a piece of paper, and something to finish up with coloring in. <clears throat> you can pause this video and then come back with your supplies and we'll get started drawing a turtle today. Great, are you back? Good. We're going to start with that egg shape again, just like we did eggs last week. And it's going to be a pretty big egg. So I'm going to put my finger in the middle of my paper. And I'm going to take it apart and take it away. I'm going to make sure that I have enough room for the tail and the head. And there is my egg shape. <clears throat> I'm going to come up here. I'm going to draw a curve. Not quite a candy cane, but almost a curve. And now I'm going to come back and meet that right up there, another curve. And so we've closed off that shape. And that is the head. I'm going to make a little piece here for the mouth, like that, almost like a backward C. And now I'm going to scoot up a little bit more so you can see it better. There you go. I'm going to put one eye here, and I might color it in part way, just part way. I'm going to put his little tail, I'm going to come down here, I'm going to put his little tail down here. It's a curved line also, and he has a little skinny tail, and then we have a copycat line to close it off. There we go, and that's the turtle's tail, and this is going to be <clears throat> like a sea t turtle. So I'm going to come back up here and I'm going to make a curved line and I'm going to make maybe a finger width or two kind of a straight curved line and then I'm going to put shapes on such as mountain one, two, three, four, five and that's his hand. I'm going to come over here and do the same thing. I'm going to go curve line and curve line and then I'm going to go zig zag two three four five for his five fingers. His five fingers. Then I'm going to come down here. I'm going to make a curve line out. And another curved line, kind of a flipper, because sea turtles don't, they have, they have hands up here, but they have like flippers down here. I'm going to make a curved line over here, and come back in, and curve line there. <clears throat> now our sea turtle looks a little plain, and on its shell, most turtles have what they call 13 moons, but I'm not going to just count moons. I'm just going to go around. I'm going to make a U here. <clears throat> I'm going to go a U here all the way around his shell with U's. U, U. Don't make them too small because you want to color in them. So I'm making U shapes around the turtle's shell. I'm keeping the middle open. There are my U-shapes. <clears throat> and in those U-shapes, I'm going to make a copycat line. Another U-shape, so I can get some color in them. And most turtles have these U-shapes on the back of their shell. There I am, four U-shapes.
Okay. Now in the middle, <coughs> I'm going to make a rectangle. Pretty big rectangle. I'm going to make another one underneath that rectangle. I'm going to go all the way down until I touch the moon at the end. U shapes. I mean, rectangles. Rectangles. I think I can get one more right there. <coughs> there are my rectangles. Now I'm going to make a copycat line inside for that rectangle. So we're using U shapes and egg shapes and rectangles today. They are my rectangles. Rectangle, rectangle, rectangle. Rectangle has four sides, too short and too long. And then I'm going to take it, I'm going to draw a line down the middle <clears throat> to decorate my turtle. And I'm going to draw a copycat line. And that's basically my turtle. Now on his hands, if you decided to draw the tomb last week, you might have stepped over to look at what third through fifth grade's doing. You might have drawn that, that the tomb of Christ. And he had, this is where overlapping comes in. So I'm going to draw a wiggly line and come down. And then I'm going to put a line here. That's one of the big rocks that the turtle's hanging on to. And over here, I'm going to draw that line. That's going to be my horizon line. And then I'm going to draw another rock. Uh-oh, I don't want to draw through that hand. So I'm going to come up, and I'm going to draw right down. And there he is on the rocks. Now, you can put waves in. You can put other things in, like a seagull. You can put your sun, your, your moon. You can put mountains in the back. You could do a lot of different things. If you have, if you want to do it in markers, you can do it in markers. You could do it in crayon. If you are going to paint, this is a great one to paint because it's big enough. You might want to paint the turtle and then do markers on the back, or you might want to put markers on the turtle and then paint your background with watercolor if you have it. And uh, it will be a fun project to see and make sure you save it. You can sign your name right here. I should sign my name right here. Here I am. I could even date it if I wanted to. But you can do that. And if you want your picture shown on Mount Hope's uh, Facebook page, put pictures. So take a picture of your picture. You can put yourself in it. Take a picture of your picture. And then pictures at mounthope.org. All right, guys, I will see you next week. You will need to have some recycled materials uh, with you, what you get from the recycling, especially, you know, those toilet paper rolls and other things. So have fun. I will move this a little closer before I sign off. There is the turtle. So have fun with it. All right, see you next week.